In this video, I will show you how to create amazing cool like, subscribe and press the bell icon motion graphics template in Premiere Pro coming up. Hi everyone, I'm Harshwardhan. Welcome to harshwardhanart.com. If you want to learn how to create those cool and professional looking like, subscribe and press the bell icon motion graphics template in Premiere Pro, then you will learn exactly that in this video. Because in this video, I will show you step by step process of creating any cool animation graphics template in Premiere Pro which you can use for on any clip later on. And if you don't want to create your own, you can download this animation presets or cool motion graphics template preset for Premiere Pro absolutely free from the link in the description section below. And before we go any further, please hit the like button if you have any question or if you want to say something, leave that in the comment section below. And before we go any further, few words about Envato Elements. Do you want to download unlimited videos, audios, sound effects, graphic templates, fonts, photos, WordPress items and 3D models and much more with just one subscription? Then Envato Elements is a one-stop shop for all your creative assets needs. If you are a content creator or YouTuber or online instructor, then you are in constantly need of videos, audios, fonts, photos, presentation templates, graphic templates, 3D models, etc. And it's not feasible to pay each time you use certain videos, fonts, photos or other sound effects or audios for your particular project because that becomes very costly and not affordable. What if you could just download unlimited videos, audios, presentation templates, graphic templates, fonts, photos, WordPress items, 3D models and much more with just one subscription. And then you must get the Envato Elements subscription because this is the only subscription at this moment on the market which gives you everything. It has 54 plus million assets at this time and more and more are being added every day. And all the Envato Elements items you can download they are covered with the commercial lifetime license so once you download them and you can use it forever and the subscription is very very affordable as you can see that the individual plan starts at 16.50 dollar per month and if you don't want to just buy the subscription get the free plan and with free plans you will get 12 free files every month isn't that great so if that's what you want go ahead and check out the envato elements the link of this is in the description section below so without further ado, let's get started. In the project panel, click on the new item and select the sequence. And from the digital SLR preset, choose 1920 by 1080. And you can rename this sequence like subscribe, YouTube button, motion, graphic, template, or you can write anything else. I will just write this and press OK. And now, once more, click on the new item in the project panel and select black video and it would automatically choose the width and height. Just press OK. Now click and drop this black video on the timeline and just expand it even further if you want. Move your playhead on a position few frames ahead and then switch back to the all in one workspace. If you don't know how to do this, just watch this video and thereafter just go to the Essential Graphics panel. If it is not shown, go to the Windows and select Essential Graphics and that panel would be visible over here. Now click on the Text tool or the Type tool, just press T on your keyboard. Click anywhere on the screen or in the preview screen and type anything you like. I'm just typing this is it and thereafter when you will go to the essential graphics panel and now click on the new item and select from files on the new item and select from files and now browse those files you can download these project files from the link in the description section below absolutely free just select all of these 
one is simple and second is shattered glass and it's going to load all of these over here just click on the eye icon to turn all of these off and then to the text as well now let's rearrange all of these in this manner first we will add the like glass gold and then like glass gold shattered and then youtube button red glass and youtube button glass shattered and bell glass gold and bell gold shattered now turn on the like glass gold on and choose the selection tool by clicking v on your keyboard or you can come over here and select this selection tool from here and now re let's resize it and reposition it if you hover your mouse on one of the corner you can just resize it but before that let's click on the setting icon and choose the safe margins and that way safe margins would be available so that in case we choose different resolution our project would not cut out these graphics so now let's make them smaller by hovering your mouse on one of the corner and you can click and reposition it anywhere you want now select the shattered one and just turn this on now we want it to be have the same position and of the same scale so we'll go to the effects control and the effects control you will see these clip like glass gold just click on the arrow to open its properties and now select on the position and scale we cannot copy both of these we have to manually copy them each one by one so now what we'll do we'll click on this position and copy this value and then we'll click on the arrow and in the position copy that and click on the position of the clip shattered glass and paste it and we'll just copy the second position and we'll place it or paste it and we'll copy the scale value as well and place it on the light glass gold shattered okay so now if we turn this off you can see we have the this like button of the same size and at the same value or the same position now turn on the youtube button red glass this time again we'll resize it and reposition it wherever we want and then we'll turn on the shattered youtube button glass and go to the effects control and click on these arrow to open its position and copy the position of the youtube simple red button and paste it on the red youtube button glass shattered so i'll place the x value and y value and we'll copy the scale value and placed it on the scale value as well so we can by turning this on and off we can see now both are of the same size and same position now turn on the bell glass cold and we'll do the same thing with this as well so now you can see we have we have positioned our graphics at a place where we want it now let's select the clip like glass cold so move our play hand in the beginning of this clip right over here or this track graphic tracks and click on the position to add a keyframe click on the scale stopwatch to add a keyframe for the scale as well and move it back and then just reposition it out of the screen by hovering our mouse on the and dragging our mouse on the right hand side so that way it would be out of the screen and then we'll click on the scale to add a keyframe and right click and select the temporal interpolation and select easy ease in and this time temporal interpolation and easy ease out and we'll do the same for the scale keyframe as well and now we'll select both of these and click on these arrows to position and we'll just open this up and click on one of these handles to create this kind of a graph something like this so if you just press play let's see how it looks we'll turn off the 
shattered glass to see the animation we have just created you can see now this like button just comes in the frame slowly so we'll zoom in and re-expand this menu so we'll click on the last keyframe and we'll just drag the first handle of the keyframe and we'll just make it something like this and let's see how it looks yes now let's refine it even further let's go back to the same button and its scale keyframe choose the last keyframe and just drag it outside now you can see the graph how this graph is looking and let's click on these handles and just customize this drag it on the right hand side so that it just comes slowly and settles fast let's refine it again so we'll click on the last keyframe and drag it inside so we'll want this animation to happen quickly and if we want it to happen lately we can drag it to the right side and we'll grab the second header and just customize this graph this way and grab the first handle and drag it this side and the second graph and just make it something like this okay it's looking good but the animation is very slow so let's work on this so let's zoom in and drag it in the beginning and now we'll grab the handle first handle and just make it something like this and animation is still not looking good so we'll click on this handle and just make it on the bottom side and now this one is looking much better and click this handle and drag it something like this let's see yes this one is now looking much better just click and just drag this back on the bottom and let's see how it looks now this one is looking much better now let's see how it looks this way yes this one is looking good just comes slowly fast and then settles slowly let's see yes this one is looking good let's increase its distance something like this yes now animate the scale position or scale value so click on the scale and on these handles so we'll grab the top handle and drag it up and now you can see it just zooms in and then goes back to the original scale value that is the 33 percent so now drag this handle little down because we don't want it to scale that much so if you just play this animation you can see this one is looking much better now turn on the clip like glass cold shattered and in the opacity come to the opacity keyframe or opacity value and just right where it settles we'll just make its opacity or this glass button to be visible and before it settles on its final position we'll make it less visible let's go to the scale value once again and drag it a little further something like this and here it settles you can see so we'll make the shattered one visible right over here so we'll select that and just before that we'll click on the opacity keyframe we'll make the opacity zero and then right just after the scale up we'll make its opacity 100 percent so we'll click on the keyframe to create a keyframe and drag it back on the previous keyframe and right over here will increase the opacity to 100% so if we play the animation you can see it just scales up and then it just makes this shattered glass visible but it is happening little early so it's visible too early so we'll just need to adjust its position so we'll go back to the shattered glass keyframe where it was visible so we'll click both of these and drag it right over here 
on the last keyframe. So it just play. Let's see, zooms in and it just settles. Okay, let's make them a little closer. Now if we just play, you can see now this one is looking good. So we'll do the same thing with the button and with the bell icon as well. So basically we are trying to show the idea that whenever someone clicks on the like button or the subscribe button it just becomes shattered okay so we'll do the same thing with the bell icon i have already did that and we'll just group them together and we'll click on the group one and just rename it like subscribe button and we'll click on the arrow to close the group and now let's see how it looks this is how our animation looks and just moves at the end of the animation and thereafter we'll just select the group like subscribe button and click on the position to create a keyframe and we are at the end of the clip so we'll uh, hover our mouse on the y value and drag it on the right hand side to make the entire animation or graphics out of the frame and we'll just move few frame back and then click on the reset button to reset the value to the original position so now if we'll just play this animation this is how it looks and it goes out okay now we'll interpolate these keyframes so right click select temporal interpolation and easy is out and temporal interpolation easy is in and we'll click on the arrow and this graph will just customize it so let's make it go out of the frame slowly so we'll click and drag this handle second handle right hand side so this is how it looks now let's customize it even further grab the first handle and drag it right hand side even further and now it goes quickly let's see it comes in and then it goes out slowly and quickly so this animation now looks much much professional so you can now save this graphic animation okay so I'll right click and select the export select the export as motion graphics template and you can rename it anything you want so i've just customized it and write my name and you can choose the destination or the location and you can add keywords like like subscribe button and you can add commas before each word so that way you can search them easily animation youtube subscribe button comma press enter and press ok and you can choose the location is location where you want to save it and let me show you once again you can choose this you can choose this location so you can browse the location where you want to save it i have just saved it in my local drive or you can save it on your desktop and thereafter you can press ok and if you want you can just check this to show you some compatibility or some font missing error something like that otherwise there is no need that let me show you how it looks on our videos so let me browse one video so this is the video i want to add this that motion graphics template so we'll go to the essential graphics and select on the browse and this would be visible over here you, you can click on the star to make it favorite and now we can just click and drop it over your clip and if you just play you can see it has automatically added that animation or cool motion graphics like subscribe and press the bell icon button on any clip or any video in premiere pro so thank you so much i hope you found this video useful if you did hit the like button if you have any question or if you want to say something you can leave that in the comment section below 
and if you don't want to create your own animation you can download this animation presets or this like subscribe and press the bell icon motion graphics template absolutely free from the link in the description section below so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next video till then keep shooting and unleash the creative